Hi guys, so welcome. This is now for the module 9 of the Contemporary World Lecture Series. Now, for today, we will be discussing the global demography, population, urbanization, and ecology. Now, okay, let's proceed. So, what now is population? So, population and ecology are closely related to each other. The growth of population can be a burden to environment, depleting its sources and threatening human and animal life. Now, kasi when you say population, it is the number of the people no, in a certain part of uh, or a certain place or sometimes a certain part of the world. Say, for example, sa Pilipinas, no? Uh, population ng Pilipinas, population ng ganitong lugar, specifically. So, yung parang ganon. Okay. Now, what is demography? Now, demography refers to the scientific study of the size, composition, distribution, and changes in human population. Now, demographic studies describe the composition of a population by its distribution of population categories such as race, age, marital status, gender, uh, gender, socioeconomic status, and religion. See, for example, if you're looking for the data of the Filipinos, now you may subcategorize it in by uh, by age. Let's say. 18 to 21. Ilan ba ang population ng 18 to 21 dito? No? Parang ganon. Marital status. Sino yung mga married? At sino yung mga single? Sino yung mga separated? Sino yung mga widowed? Diba? Gender. Okay. Dito tayo papasok sa male, female, and transgender. Or the LGBTQ. Plus, 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 plus. Socioeconomic status. Na siya ba ay nasa poor? Lower middle class? Middle class? High middle class? Or nasa rich kid na status na siya? Or mayaman? Religion. If you're going to a... Uh, um, to find to find out the demographic data of religion ilan ba yung ilang porsyento ba yung Roman Catholic ilang porsyento ba yung um, let's say INC ilang porsyento ba sa population natin sa Pilipinas ang Mormons ilang porsyento ba yung mga Seventh Day Adventist yung mga ganun no so that is what um, how you define the demogra demography. Okay. So, demographers seeks to know the levels and trends in population size and its component. Kaya na sinabi ko. They search for explanation of demographic change and their implication for society. They use census, birth, and death records, survey, visa records, and even motor vehicles and school registration. So, the tools of demography. Count. So this refers to the absolute number of population or any demographic event occurring in specific specified area in a specified time period. Time period. For example, 1,200 uh, 1,200,500 live, live births occurred in Japan during 1977. The raw quantities of demographic events are the basis of all other statistical refinement and analysis. Then you have rate. No? The frequency of demographic events in a population during the specified time period, usually a year, divided by the population at risk of the event occurring the uh, during the time period. Rate tells how common is, is it, it is for a given event, event to occur. For example, in 1997, in Papua New Guinea, there was there were 34 live births per 1,000 population. Most rates are expressed per 1,000 population. Ratio. 
the relation of one population subgroup to other population or to another subgroup, one that is one subgroup divided by another. For example, the sex ratio in Iran in 1996 was 103 males per 100 females. Proportion. The relation of proportion subgroup to the entire population that is a population subgroup divided by the entire population. For example, the proportion of Malaysia's population classified as urban was 0.75 or 75%. Constant, an unchanging arbitrary number by which ratio, uh, which rates, ratios, or proportion can be multiplied to express these measures in a more understandable fashion. Cohort measures, a statistics about measure events, measures event occurring to a cohort or a group of people sharing a common demographic experience who are observed through time. The most common used cohort is the birth cohorts. People born in the same year or period, other kinds of cohorts include marriage cohorts and school class cohorts. Period measure. A statistic that measures event occurring to all parts or a part of a population during one period of time. This measure takes a snapshot of the population in effect. For example, the death rate of the entire Canadian population in 1997 was 7 per 1,000. So about population. So population composition and density. Now, population density can be expressed as ratio between the number of people and a particular unit of measure. The most common of such measure is the crude or arithmetic density. To arrive at the crude population density of a place, it is necessary to divide the total number of people who live there by the total land area. The United States, for example, has an average population density of about 84 people per square mile. New York, however, has the population density of 23,671 people per square mile, whereas some parts of Alaska have a population densities of near zero per square mile. So, kasi minsan nagkakaroon na yan eh. Um, depende sa kung gaano ka din sa isang lugar, no? Kung sobrang dami ng tao or depende yan din sa ano. Now, fertility, mortality, and migration. Fertility. In terms of population rather than individual, for individuals, fertility is usually expressed using the pro proxy measure of birth rates, either crude or standardized for age and sex. Worldwide, there are significant differences between birth rates, and a major study in 1980s carried out by the Population Division of the Department of International Economic and Social Affairs of the United Nations Secretariat studied that the relationship between the population age and sex distribution and crude fertility rates for 21 countries in the developing uh, world. Now they concluded that the higher the birth rate, the more mark markedly the birth rate is depressed by the age structure. All other things being equal, fertility should decline more rapidly in, a, in the countries where it's, it is currently lowest since the age structure appears to favor such a force. So, the mean number of children even born, ever born also range widely among the 21 countries. Differences in completed family size range from 8.6 children in Jordan to 5.2 children in Indonesia. One in the developed nation, a world, through there, uh, through, though there is a global tendency for the family sizes on the average to be smaller than the replacement level. Now, the replacement level for fertility is the number that causes con 
the country's population to slow down and eventually stabilize according to the CIA World Factbook in 2014 data. So, the total fertility rate of, for women is below 2 children for North America, Brazil, all the EU countries, states except France, Russia, China, and Austral Asia, while women in most uh, sub -Saharan, of Sub-Saharan Africa has between 3 to 7 children on average. Now, it's sa Pilipinas. Sa Pilipinas, in my own estimates, one household or one family, it consists of what? Generally, four, no? We have two kids. In some parts of the Philippines, also, they practice at least four to six children. Pero kasi dati, na mga panahon na panahon na nanay tatay natin, gusto talaga yung paramihan ng anak. No? So, halos nagbabago-bago rin kasi yung data. Mortality. Siyempre, kung maraming na nabubuhay at maraming nanganganak, marami din ang namamatay. So, the effects of mortality on population structures to is to reduce the component of the population in which the mortality occurs. Historically, the most dangerous ages were infancy and old age. Now, were reckoned, were reckoned according to circumstances. In addition, some epidemics of infectious disease like COVID-19 or uh, yung, yung iba, minsan Spanish flu during the 1800s had their highest mortality among young adults. Now, I don't know about the data of the DOH right now. Wala sila kasi specific data kung sino yung mga mostly affected by the COVID-19 to, uh, today. If it's uh, majority, if it's in the middle age or, or sa mga young adults. I doubt meron mas marami rin ng content sa old age, no? Sa mga elderly people. So, uh, the highest mortality among young adults whose immune system were presumably in, insufficiently prime. It is expected that the forecast of bird flu epidemic will behave similarly. War differentially reduces the proportion of young men. The majority of infectious diseases of early childhood had been reduced by immunization and improved nutrition and hygiene have rendered childhood safer. Kaya, right now, while you are watching this, please, please, stay indoors. Wala ka namang pupuntahan. Diyan ka na lang manatili ka sa bahay. Don't forget to wash your hands and don't rub your bare hands with your uh, on your face. No? Para maiwasan din yung virus. <coughs> Excuse me. Yan, hindi po virus yan. Okay, moving on. Antibiotics, uh, welfare state, and improvements in medical, surgical, and palliative care have resulted in great increases in life and expectancy in the developed world, where life expectancy is now in the middle uh, to upper 70s or lower 80s and rising every year. The effect of this is to raise pop the population in the higher age groups substantially. Now, women have higher life expectancy than men. Wherever they live, the tendency of the people to retire to particularly, uh, particular resorts means that in some parts of the south coast of England, the average, arithmetic mean, the average or the arithmetic mean age of the population is only just below the retirement age. So, the downside of this is that the extended lives of are often lived in the bad health as the treatments people receive may keep them alive but to do a little ameliorate the, the, the underlying pain or the disability brought by on by the diseases and virtually nothing for the various forms of senile dementia, and 
increasing income, increasingly income. Good. Migration. Ito naman, kung yung isa naman is about birth, which is give rise to the population, and death, which lowers the population, ito naman is some, somehow it will increase also the population. Now, migration. This has been the less studied uh, in areas where all natural disasters or political military concerns lead to entire population being displaced. The initial population structure were unchanged, will be unchanged. Though, post-migrations, the population will have altered to reflect those who have survived the process, typically showing increases in older children and younger adults. Opportunistic migrations tend to occur mostly among young adults and may be permanent or temporary. Some studies have shown increasing the fertility levels in migrants. Now, so for the effect of migration on population structure is to deplete the population immigrated from the young adults group to augment this group in a in the non in the immigrated to population and to increase the fertility birth rate in the new population. So here is the world population as of July 1, 2019. So last year. Sigurado ako ngayon, nag increase na siya ngayon ng population. Although somehow it will be decreased due to the pandemics. No? Uh, last year, the population is almost 7,610,184,021. So the countries in which mas marami ang population, you have China, of course, India, United States, Indonesia, Pakistan, Brazil, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Russia, and Mexico. So these are just the top 10 of the world's most po um, yun nga, mas madami yung population. Okay, so this will be all for module 9. And if you have any questions, please uh, comment. Uh, drop your comments or drop your questions in the comment box below. And of course, um, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel and once again I'll see you on the next module the module 10 and hopefully we can discuss more no so uh, that's it I'll see you on the next video